Some of my level one learners are all behind the camera, busily working away on exactly the same circuit that Thomas is wiring. Thomas is just gonna give us a quick overview about the work he's been doing. Thomas, what is the arrangement of the circuit below us? This is a A3 radial socket circuit. Okay, maximum floor area you can serve with this circuit? 50 meters squared. It is. How many socket outlets can you have in that area? Unlimited. Good. The size of the overcurrent protection device that we're gonna fit in the actual consumer unit is? 20 amps. 20 amps, okay. The BS number of the socket outlets, nice tough one. BS1363. You were pretty good, aren't you? BS1363, what's BS stand for? British Standard. It does. However, the device that we're gonna fit in here is a combination device. What actually are you gonna fit inside that consumer unit for me? An RCBO with a AFDD in it as well. And it's rated at how many amps again, just remind me? 20 amps. So we're gonna be fitting an art fault detection device onto our A3 radial circuit. Next part of the presentation. Cheers, Tom. Paired his consumer unit behind me, ready to facilitate this Crabtree Starbreaker design, 30 milliamp RCBO AFDD Type B circuit breaker. Pop it in for us, Tom. Wow, that looked really difficult to fit. Can you make the connections now, Tom? Show people on camera, not the continuity and polarity test that you've already carried out off camera. That's pretty simple, I've showed it in other video presentations, but we've got the old AFDD fit in here. Which test are you gonna carry out for me now on camera? The insulation resistance test. Okay, how many volts are you gonna pass through the circuit? 500 volts DC. Okay, is there anything now in circuit you're worried about with this 500 volts DC? Uh, electronic components within the uh, RCBO slash AFDD. Okay, so how are you going to get those out of circuit? Are you going to disconnect the conductors from the top from me in order to carry out the insulation resistance test? No, we can turn off the RCBO and the sensitive electronic components should be safe. Okay, so by turning off this RCBO AFDD unit into the off position, it's isolated the conductors at the top, meaning that we can perform the outgoing insulation resistance test. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Can you do that test for me, please? Okay. So you've got to try and keep your hands out of the way, that old chest that Gary always struggles with. So we're in the top of the AFDD here. I'll press and test button for you here off camera. Hopefully we can see that. Our reading is greater than 999 megaohms. What's mega stand for? Million. It does. So you've tested between the live conductors. Where are you now going to test between? Between line and CPC. Yep. Okay. Let's press the button again. And you've got a reading again, greater than 999 megaohms. And finally, you're going to test between? CPC and neutral. Okay, and the neutral is in the top of the AFDD and not the neutral bar itself. And there we go. Are you happy with those readings that we achieved? Yes. Are you happy that the sensitive electronic equipment within here is now safe during the test? Yes. Thanks ever so much, Tom.
Okay then, Thomas, it's the moment of truth, so we're gonna energize the circuit and get our AFD energized, so turn on the main switch. Okay. Okay, so, oh, got a problem before we start. It's gone red, so there must be a problem there, Thomas. Well, no, according to this sticker, this means that the device is working correctly. Okay, so red is a good colour. Yes. Okay, I know these devices self-check themselves every 24 hours. If it failed that self-check, what does it suggest might be happening in them? If it fails its self-check, this light here will be flashing a yellow and red colour and this will tell the customer that it isn't working correctly. Okay, that's nice to know, so I take it we're gonna leave that sticker with yeah. them. We must do functional testing on our devices. How do we functionally check our AFDD? We press this button down here, and then we reset. Okay, yeah, and it's gone back to red, so red's yeah. a good color, so we're off and running on a functional test. Thank you very much. Okay, then, so I spun over to Ben. Ben's already told me he doesn't need my face on camera because he's told me his is the money. So let's see if you're the money when it comes to the question, Ben. What type of circuit are you wired for me? Uh, A3 radial. Okay, A3 radial socket circuit. So maximum floor area that can serve? Uh, 50 meters squared. Good. Uh, what size is the breaker in the consumer unit? Uh, 20 amp. It is 20 amps, and that's uh, 20 amps for those people who go and order one. There you go, Ben. That's better, isn't it? <laughs> Does the circuit require a RCD protection? Yeah. Uh, the rated value of the RCD? 30 milliamps or lower. Okay, what type of protection does the RCD offer? Additional. It does, and what type of faults with the RCD clear? Uh, fault off. Okay, crack on then, mate.